Hello everybody and welcome to my new series, Colby's Crappy Dinosaur Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Jurassic Park Dimetrodon. Now this is not a dinosaur, this is actually a prehistoric reptile from the Cerulean period. And I'm going to be reviewing each of my Jurassic Park figures in the order that they are. This is JP01. This was the first figure in the Jurassic Park toy line from 1992 and 1993. This Dimetrodon has been repainted several times. I do not have any of the alternate variants of it. But this was part of the basic figures line and would have cost around anywhere from five to seven dollars back in 1993. Mine I bought off of eBay in April in February, and it's in it's in kind of rough shape. Here's the mouth. It's got some red stuff in it front profile it's got this big sail jp01 it's got little legs the tail and on the other side it's very green looking figure um the figure its action features you pull the leg back and its mouth will open pretty cool usually doesn't work so I'm surprised it's working on a film must know there's an audience the figure has articulation in the legs each leg can move back and forth this leg right here moves this is the leg that activates the jaw feature. You push it back and the mouth will open. But it also moves. And then this last leg also moves. There's articulation in the jaws where you can open it up. There's the inside of the mouth. You got a tongue and a upper part of the mouth. You can see back there. Underside, there's some nice sculpting and detail. The tail has articulation and can move from side to side. It can go in 360, but I don't want to risk snapping it. This figure is the first figure in the Jurassic Park series, but it's one of my newest figures. I just never got around to buying it. But I had money, so I decided to buy it. You got this nice, pretty green on the body, then you got a darker green here, and then yellows on the sails. And the white for the teeth in JP01, and this weird, fleshy color in the mouth. This figure is not the biggest figure in the Jurassic Park line, so I have some things here for some comparison. Here is a human figure from the toy line. He scales about almost up to the fin of the Dimetrodon. And we also have a raptor here from the same toy line who is the same like price point as the Dimetrodon. And then Gonna have to zoom out. We have the Red Rex compared to the Dometrodon. So it's a uh, pretty. They're, all the figures in the first toy line are pretty to scale. I also have a cassette tape. Here's a cassette tape compared to the size so it's about as big as a cassette move some of these other things out of the way just so you know everyday objects to compare it to and then here is a can of Febreze air next to the Dimetrodon so it's a pretty 
it's it's not a huge figure. I mean, my hand is almost as big as it. But it's a cool little figure. It's the first of the Jurassic Park toy line. And, uh, it's, it's one that I always wanted to get, but I never got around to. I will post pictures of the repaints at the end of the video so you can see what other versions of this look like. Uh, when Hasbro took over Jurassic Park toys, they used a lot of Kenner's figures and repainted them for other toy lines. So yeah, some interesting facts about this figure. There was a one that was going to come out for the Lost World, a repaint, that never did come around, but a prototype of it was sold on eBay for $3,500. And this Dimetrodon also was released in Jurassic Park Series 2, same color, but it came with some capture gear. Anyway, this is going to conclude our first of Colby's Crappy Dinosaur Reviews. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stayed tuned. Uh, hint, hint, nudge, nudge right there for my other series. And uh, I hope you guys all have a great day, and I'll uh, see you around.